two, three, four. Now I want these two tracks, these two tracks to line up exactly at the same beat. So they should be like that. Now let's try the same thing again now with it for an MP3. If I go to file again, I go down to export. Now I'm going to choose MP3 as my file format. Now I'm going to click my options and um, in the options here we have a few different uh, things we can change but I'm only going to speak about one right now, the quality. That's how it looks as two um, waveforms. A mono track looks like this, has one waveform. Now if we want to change the name of this track, you would click name right here. So I'm going to click it and you can see it's called Muscles MP3 256K. That's in our presets here that sounds like an AM radio and here it is because we want to make this recording sound like it's on an AM radio. We select it and let's go to effect again and let's go down to reverse. Reverse right there. And you click it, and now let's listen. Okay, so sometimes we may want to boost the high or the lows or whichever part of the frequency range, and sometimes you may want to reduce that part of the frequency range. Let's choose the RCA Victor uh, 1947. Now you'll see that the low end is really boosted and it gradually tapers down to no change at the 1000 hertz mark. If I go to view menu in audacity and go down to history, that will show me a whole list of things that I've done over the past certain period of time. and I counted myself in and if you notice all I did to record was I just hit the record button that was it and when I was finished I hit stop be careful not to hit pause pause won't stop the recording it'll just be paused go to recording now under recording you'll see overdub play other tracks while recording new one that has to be checked Now let's get started with the Apple version. The first thing we need to do is download the Audacity installer. Now if you go to your favorite search engine and do a search for Audacity, you're going to find this site, audacity.sourceforge.net. Choose your language, and you're going to follow the instructions. Change Tempo. Now in the Change Tempo window, we're given a slider that we can use to either go into the negative numbers to slow the tempo down, or go into the positive numbers to speed the tempo up. Now let's hear what Change Speed does in comparison to Change Tempo. Now this is the change pitch window and you can see we have a few different ways to change pitch. We can do it by note if you're doing it for music and we can do we can put in some uh, numbers directly or the easiest thing is to use the slider. 